today we're going to make, we haven't made it before, some little um, stuffed people, little, little blobs with eyes. Mm. They had a name, didn't they? Uh, worry monsters. Worry monsters. So you could draw around, um, you could find some fabric. Um, we've got, we're lucky to have some fur fabric in the house. If you don't have any fur fabric, maybe you could use a sock and um, stuff the end of the sock. But what we're going to do is we're going to put some eyes on and um, make it look like a, just a little monster. Mm -hmm. So if you want to cut around something, draw it first and cut around. And it could be any size you like. And <clears throat> if you don't have any of these sort of eyes with things on the end, then you could put, you could sew on, sew on little felt with little extra felt, or you could glue on gooey, um, googly eyes. Doesn't matter. My one's going to be about this big. There you go. That. And then when you're sewing, you need to have another side. So you can um, put your, we're going to sew it inside out and then right side round it. So you can put your one um, side on, on the other piece of fabric that you want. I'm going to have a really furry back of mine. Oh, actually put the, put the, um, the eyes in first. With a, poke, a little, um, you need to poke the eye holes first. I'm just going to stick. Aww. I'm going to stick tiny, weeny little holes in the back. Um, just, just going to. I know it's going to go there, and there those eyes. So I'm just going to tiny little holes. This is going to be the front of my face, and I'm going to find those holes that poke the eyes through their backs on so you don't have to do this fiddly on the inside that's how the eyes stick on and I'll put the other eye hole in that hole that I found oh. there and um, put the eye in that eyeball there that's that's how you do it and then you're going to put them on top of each other but the inside inside, the, sorry, the outside inside. Then my furry bits are gonna stick, furry, I'm gonna um, pin them together so that it's easy to cut and then it's easy to sew them together afterwards. Pin, pin, and the pins, if you want to, this is not very flat fabric, but if you put it, put the pin in, and hook it up um, there. And I'm going to cut this fur. This fur fabric is really evil to um, because it's so it's so messy. So when you cut your fur fabric, get the fur off the edges like that. Yeah, if you don't have fur fabric, you might have an old t-shirt. Or something that you want to sew that you could possibly use, or an old something tea towel. Yeah, yuck! Get rid of these. And then thread your needle. And you're going to go in and out. So you need to, I'm going to um, leave a gap at the bottom so that I can turn it inside out. So you, you basically do a running stitch, which is in and out. In and out, all the way around. And in and out. So it's like um, you're making, you're making a, like running steps. All the way around. You could do it on a machine if you've got a machine. And I'll just quicken that up because it's quite boring.
Now, so made we we sewed Tom's done his. Yeah. We sewed um um but, uh, what do you call that? A walking stitch or <laughs> running stitch. stitch around and left a gap here to turn it inside out. And I haven't done it yet, so I'm gonna turn it inside out what it looks like. Oh yes, I like it. There. And then we have to stuff it with the stuffing or newspaper or an old sock. And um to put that in. See, the eyes are already magically on from before. You can understuff it or overstuff it. You can put beans in if you wanted it, as long as you don't get it wet. And um, um, then it will feel all beany. And then, then you have to sort of fold underneath the bits of fabric there and then sew them together on the bottom. So I find it easier to give it a little, put a little um, pin in to hold it in place. Definitely fold them over a bit. And then do overstitch. I've already, if you've forgotten how, if you're finding it difficult to thread a needle and everything, on one of my videos it said how to sew a button, and that's really clear on how to thread your needle and do a bit of sewing. So I go in at the edge where, where we, we began, and I'm going to do overstitch. So that that's got the knot and not the end of the knot in and then there we go over and over so when you're doing over stitch you always go in at the same side and come out um so i'm going to go over into the very very side the very very side and out of the <laughs> leopard side over and over really over how long is this going to take? Let's see. Show the real one. Oh. We are close. It's got like a peb. It looks like a pebble. He's done. He, he folded over the eyes so that it's got a little worried look. Oh, you poor little thing. He's so cute. <laughs> and now it's just folding. Of course, you go on. Well, I need my thimble. <laughs> And it's gone into the that cowboy. There. Do you want the thimble? I don't that one. Okay, I'll try. Yeah. Push it through. That's the end, I think. Yeah, that's the end. There. Who's worried? Who needs a little worry doll? Worry. Monster. Monster. There. There. Do another knot. You could have, we could make little feet, we could make little <laughs> arms, we could make, eyebrows. make ears or eyebrows on. There it is. So lovely. And his friend. <laughs>